Hey, welcome back. <clears throat> this video is the first of three videos about getting the rudder servo in, the nose wheel on, and the rudder um, push rod, uh, along with the nose wheel push rod, into the rudder servo and getting it all set up. I'm going to do it in three parts because it's kind of long, rather break it up into three different videos. So the first thing we're going to do is install the rudder servo, and note that the rudder servo I have removed one of the quick connects and the reason for that is um, the rudder push rod um, is going to be uh, using the uh, clevis at the servo okay and the other end is going to have a Z bend in it um, at the nose wheel okay let me show you the nose wheel I'll show you how to assemble all this in a minute, but that's the nose wheel. And so this um, push arm here on the nose wheel will have a Z bend in it. And so the first thing we've got to do is put the servo in, connect this uh, clevis, uh, and have the uh, plain end going out the front, assemble the nose wheel, mark where the z-bend needs to be, make the z-bend and then reassemble, take it all out, make the z-bend, reassemble it, put it all back in and then the last thing we're going to do is put the rudder um, push rod in and get it all together. That's why it takes a long time to say it. Okay, so uh, the first thing to do is only have one quick connect and that's going to be on the um, rudder push rod side, this is the nose wheel steering push rod side, remember this is toward the front and um, got my assemblance of tools and my bag of, of uh, uh, screws to screw this in so let me get set up and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, the um, rudder servo is screwed in, you didn't need to see me screw in another rudder servo, another servo, so I'm going to take the push rod, put this end way into the back of the uh, airplane, bring it forward and stick it in the tube, right there, stick it in the tube for the um, um, nose wheel steering. And fortunately, I don't know if you can see that back there, but fortunately the um, we're not going to need any bend on this because the um, height of the um, clevis is right in line with the arm. Okay. Now, putting a clevis on inside an air inside like this, there's lots of techniques and lots of ways to do it. Um, I've got a very variation of of um, either a tiny short screwdriver or a big fat short screwdriver to open it up and put it in. It's not easy. Um, and uh, I'm not going to waste your time watching me take four or five tries to get it in. You'll figure it out. Okay, after only three tries I got it in there and while I was doing so I figured out a better way to do it. A better way to do it is attach the clevis to the control arm before you put the servo in and also Take the um, that's what I'm doing right now. Unscrew the wire before you do it, because this is how you're going to put it in the final way, anyways. So have nothing on the threaded end, and put the clevis on, and um, on the arm, mount the servo, and then just stick this bare end into the um, push rod tube and then just um, screw it in. That's what we're going to have to do anyways after we put the Z-Bend in. So I'm going to put that back on now. I'm going to get it where I want it and um, uh, then, then um, that'll be the end of this video. And uh, um, in the next video, I'll show you how to
put the wheel together together and we're going to mark the wheel and put the Z-band on. That will be in the next video coming up. Thank you.